I recently asked people in my stories to tell me their moon signs and I would tell them, I would give them a reading about themselves. And so here is my reading. Now, I'm just going to be giving a reading for the signs that were given to me. If you want a reading, but your sign is not in here, just leave it in the comments and then I'll make a separate video. The moon represents our emotional life, our intuitive self. It represents how we like to feel emotionally cared for. The moon represents the divine feminine or the way that we receive, the way we like to feel received or the way we receive. And while the moon can say a lot about our emotional landscape, there's a lot more at play in your natal chart. So this is just a disclaimer that what I'm about to say is just a very small piece. While it will most likely resonate with you, there's a lot more at play, so keep that in mind. All right, so let's start with Aries moon. If you're an Aries moon, you feel supported when you can feel independent. So your independence and your ability to show your independence and be independent is how you feel safe. If you are in an environment where your independence is shining and somebody supports your independence, your fiery nature, then you are going to feel more comfortable in that environment. And so if you are always being coddled and this might not be what you enjoy, that is maybe more for Cancer Moons, okay? So Cancer Moon, if you're a Cancer Moon, you are connected to the sense of home. The emotional realm is really important to you. Actually, um, the moon rules cancer. The moon and cancer work really beautifully together. It's a big divine harmony. For you, it's really important for you to feel a sense of belonging, a sense of home, a sense of connection to the people around you. And if you don't feel that, then you can feel unsafe. And so it's important for you to be around people who really value your sense of home and emotional well-being as much as you value it. Okay, and now we have Taurus moon. And similar to Cancer, the moon is, is exalted in Taurus. So this means that the moon does very well in Taurus energy. Taurus is an energy that values safety, stability, and sensuality. So Taurus moon, somebody who has a Taurus moon is going to feel nurtured and cared for in environments that provide stability and that elevate sensual pleasure. So this could be like good food, beautiful environment could be, could signify being in nature or your home, making it beautiful. If you're with anyone who accentuates this, in your life, you are going to feel a lot more safe. All right, Gemini moon people. I'm a Gemini moon. If you're a Gemini moon, you your emotions are connected to the concept of learning, communication. Geminis love to learn and gain new knowledge. And so one way that we feel emotionally safe is to be able to research all the things, explore. So if we feel confused about something emotionally, then we're going to dive into a book, we're going to research it. And it's easy to make ourselves feel bad about that because the moon is connected to receiving. And so receiving feels more like accepting what is happening. And Gemini wants to learn, wants to do something about it. And, and that's totally okay. And once you lean into that, you will find a new appreciation for the way you work through your emotions. Okay, and the last one that we had was Aquarius moon. So Aquarius is innovative, the rebel, breaking down status quo, does not want to fit in a box, and really uses technology to advance their views and perspectives. So if you have a moon in Aquarius, really need to be in an environment where you aren't put in a box, where you are permitted to shine and explore your crazy ideas 
And I say crazy with a lot of respect because you, Aquarius, are moving us in a new direction and the direction that we need to move. And so you need to be in an environment where this is highlighted and also celebrated. All right. So those are your moon readings. Let me know how that landed. And if I didn't mention your moon, please leave it in the comments and see you later.